Get three months of local news for just 99 cents a month. You'll get unlimited access to the news you need to stay engaged and connected to your community. Visit Inforum.com slash subscribe now to get three months of local news for only 99 cents a month. Not only did World War II veterans defeat Hitler, they gave us access to the chocolate chip cookie. Hi, this is Tracy Briggs, and welcome to Back Then. You know the feeling. You take a sheet pan of hot, fresh-baked chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. You think, how much time do I need to let them cool before I dive in? Pick up the cookie too early, and the lava-like chocolate chips burn the roof of your mouth. Wait too long, and the cookie is ice cold. Still good, just not that warm, ooey-gooey good. The chocolate chip cookie is as American as apple pie and even more popular. While apple pie is considered the official national dessert of the United States, in most polls, surveys, and sales reports, the simple chocolate chip cookie is far more popular. It's estimated that 7 billion chocolate chip cookies are consumed in America each year. Of those, about half are homemade. As commonplace as chocolate chip cookies are in American life, they are surrounded by mystery, even about their origin story. Many people credit Ruth Wakefield, owner of the Toll House Inn, a popular restaurant in Whitman, Massachusetts, with inventing the chocolate chip cookie in 1938. However, culinary historians debate whether she really invented the cookie or popularized it. Stella Parks is the author of Brave Tart, Iconic American Desserts. She says newspaper ads for chocolate chip cookies date back as far as 1928. That's a full decade before Wakefield was said to have invented her Toll House chocolate chip cookie. Mysteries also surround how Wakefield came up with her recipe in the first place. Some people speculate that she was trying to make a chocolate marbled cookie and thought adding bits of chocolate to the dough would achieve that effect. Others chalk it up to an accident, saying Wakefield accidentally knocked some chocolate off of a shelf and into a bowl of cookie dough she was mixing. Still others say she created the cookie because she had run out of nuts. Most of those theories are disputed, and they simply don't give enough credit to Wakefield herself. After all, she was a trained dietitian, chef, and experienced baker who probably knew what she was doing in the kitchen. The creation of the cookie, she said, was no accident. Instead, she said she deliberately invented the cookie when she chose to cut off pieces of chocolate and add them to the dough of her popular thin butterscotch nut cookie. Of course, the rest is history. No matter how it was created, it was an instant favorite at the Toll House Inn restaurant, and the recipe for her Toll House Crunch cookie was published in a Boston newspaper. Three years later, America went to war. Soldiers were sent far from home. Like soldiers everywhere, those from Massachusetts missed their families. But they also missed their favorite regional cookie. You guessed it, the Toll House Crunch Cookie. For those of us from the Midwest, think about it this way. It might be like if our soldiers went overseas today they'd probably be missing their mom's scotcheroo bars. Anyway, the Massachusetts GIs wrote letters home begging their wives and mothers to send them a batch, or 20. Some letters even came directly to Wakefield's restaurant, asking her to send dozens of cookies to entire companies of soldiers. Of course, the Massachusetts soldiers shared their care packages of the cookies with their buddies from other parts of the country. Those soldiers then wrote letters home to their wives and mothers to find that Toll House recipe. The nationwide chocolate chip cookie craze had begun. About this time, Andrew Nestle noticed the sale of his chocolate booming. After all, Wakefield used Nestle chocolate specifically in her recipe. Nestle then bought the rights to Wakefield's recipe as well as the rights to use her name and the Toll House name. Then he started production on a new product, the chocolate chip. You see, Wakefield had cut off pieces from chocolate bars to make her cookies. Nestle wanted to make it easier for the home baker, so the company started producing little chocolate chips, primarily for use in these cookies. Nestle launched its new product with Wakefield's Toll House cookie recipe printed on the back of the packaging, now called Nestle's Original Toll House Cookie. 
Wakefield agreed to the Nestle deal for a very small amount of money, reportedly just one dollar. She also received a lifetime supply of chocolate. So next time you bite into a chocolate chip cookie, thank a World War II veteran for having smarts enough to know a good thing when he bit into it, thus bringing the chocolate chip cookie to the American masses. Next to making the world safe for democracy, that's a pretty great thing. Thanks for joining me on Back Then. I hope you catch me next time. If you're loving this podcast, be sure to check out our full lineup. From news and local politics to sports and true crime, find your next great listen right now at inforum.com slash podcasts. That's inforum.com slash podcasts.